Hi, I'm Rob and it's class trial time in Gems of War. Really good these, this is the Diabolist class trial. See if you don't have this on level 100 yet, a really good chance to do these battles and earn some more XP on the path to level 100. Really good, don't go spending all your gems just to get this weapon. It's a good weapon, really good in fact, I do use it quite often. But you will get it for free once you've achieved 250 wins in Diabolist class. So just get it that way and save your gems. You can of course grab tier 1 from the shop. This is going to give you the potion of enchantment. Really, really cool. All your troops start enchanted at the start of each and every battle for the entirety of this event. And you get more class, trial sigils, souls, gold and more. Right, on to the team itself. You can fight these in any order you like. I always do them first to last. It's just the easiest. But the team I'm going to show here is going to be really different from the team I showed on the World Event team. At the Crossroads, the World Event team I showed on Monday, you can use that for this. All but Indrajit. Indrajit is the only troop you wouldn't be able to use from that World Event team. If you like that World Event team, just uh, swap out Indrajit for a Baphomet or something like that to get really good damage. But this is a different team. And uh, the way this is going to work, you've got fire and ice. Deals damage to all enemies, give two life to all allies. And I do like the upgrades on this. Let's go to the uh, upgrades. Create a red gem can be handy and a blue gem. Burn the first enemy, freeze the first enemy. Whenever you cast this, you get those effects. The burn effect can be really good for this team because we have a Baphomet in it. And this deals damage to three random enemies, and if the enemy is burning, deal double damage. Really, really cool. So in the early stages, we'll be just wiping out the enemy really fast with fire and ice, doing damage to all enemies. That is based on your magic level. So the higher your magic, the more damage you are going to do. On the later levels, we're going to try and cast Lucifria first. And the reason is, she burns all the enemies. So as soon as you burn all enemies, You'll be casting Baphomet afterwards and then doing double damage to all those enemies. That is re really, really going to make a big difference. Simple as that. A banner for this is going to be the Abyssal Banner from Blighted Lands. Plus two purple, plus one red, minus one yellow. Class for this. Now, just because it's the Diabolist class, it doesn't mean to say you have to actually be in Diabolist. The whole point is you don't have this to 100 yet. So you might want to benefit from working uh, using this in another class to earn those XP in an easier kind of way. And I really like Archmages for this kind of class, for this kind of thing. Uh, when you use a lot of purple, this is really good. Gain a two purple mana when matching purple gems. Talent Trees is not too shabby either. All purple allies gain two armor. Dark Hunger, pretty good. Anti-Magic Sphere, reduce damage from spells by 20%. Mana Source, start battles with 50%. So this can get that weapon charged up really nice and quick. This one here, you don't really want anything, so just pick Antiquity. Arcane Surge, really good. Lightning Strike, your choice. Both are really good, whatever your preferred playstyle. And Chaos Wave, I really like as well, so all good. So let's dive in. Looking to get the weapon charged up first and foremost. Like I say, you can just use the World Event Team I've done on Monday. That is going to totally, totally work. But you are going to have to swap out Baphomet. Not Baphomet, Indrajit for someone. Because you're not allowed to use Indrajit in this class trial. Daemons only from Blighted Lands. So yeah, I'll just do these five quick and then I'll jump to the higher levels and show how I'd go about it. When things get a little bit harder. Oh, that's perfect. Red and blue at the same time. Cast a weapon. Jobs are good'un. Nice red format at the top there. Absolutely will do. Then some blue. And it's goodbye to you, ugly lot. Really good, these class trolls. Totally worth doing. Because you, know, you, you get double sort of effect from it in a way. The rewards, you collect the rewards from them and extra XP and them. If you find more tiers, you get extra extra XP from them as well. So you can jump up a couple of levels really, really quite quickly. Remember, loving these as an early player. It's anything, so I'm going to be enchanted, so I'm the next, I'm powered up the next round anyway. I 
a satisfying game to play, but I do sort of miss those early days of those that sort of uh, progression and stuff like that. You got that satisfaction from those early days. Everything's really slow going now. The main satisfaction is getting a pet to level 20 or something to unlock another power level, you know, on your kingdom sort of thing. It's like uh, things really slow down later on, but that's going to happen. Right, let's jump forward a few levels. So I've jumped forward a little bit. The enemies are a little bit harder, but it's not really making much difference. All I would say is if you're at the stage where your fire and ice and your Baphomet are enough to wipe out the enemy in a single go, like once you've cast your fire and ice, the enemy are left with uh, enough health that if Baphomet's going to wipe them out on its own, then I would actually put Lucifria to the bottom so these two get charged up faster. Um, when you get to the stage where you really like that double damage or it's really going to make a difference to you because you're a newer player, for example, then leave the team order as it is. And cast Lucifria first to get that double damage from your Baphomet. Baphomet, because there's two of them. Do you see? Right, so let's cast this next. Generally, if there's anybody that's really annoying, anybody that has a summon, anything like that, use your Lucifria to target them and give them a wallop and take them out. Give me some red, give me some red, and you'll all be dead. Go Baphomet. Go Baphomet Mark II. Let's get this first. Queen Titania, one thing to be wary of here is a couple of immune to burning troops, Glitterclaw and Queen Titania herself. So you're just going to rely on the damage on this one, you're not going to get the double damage from the Baphomet on every single round. You can charge a team up, first of all, because if you cast your fight on ice now, you're going to be mana blocking. Uh, the Baphomets, because this uses red at the same time. So always good to pick up the mana while it's there sometimes, if there is red available, which there is. And that's going to get our Baphomets up. Let's cast one of them. Immune to burning, so we'll just cast Baphomet normally. And then target the last enemy with Lucifria. And the job's done. Right, might as well make this the last one, King Mikhail. That's the route to do it. That's the way to do it. Someone said that once, somewhere. I forget who it was. Kid program when I was young, all them years ago. Fish, bash, bosh. See you later. Right, nice different team there. Like I say, you can use the team that was at the Crossroads uh, World event, or very close to it. The only troop you can't use in that is Indrajit, so swap Indrajit, Indrajit out for a, a Baphomet or something like that if you want to use that World event team I showed on Monday. Right, there's a the video. If you enjoyed it or found it useful, it'd be really cool if you bash that like and subscribe button into oblivion. No, not into oblivion, because you'll probably damage your phone or your laptop or whatever. But just, yeah, press it nicely. And I'll catch you again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.